So let's continue here. Psalms 96 and 1. Sing to Yahweh a new song. Sing to Yahweh all the earth. Verse 2. Sing to Yahweh, praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. So that's what we're doing. That's why the Most High God says he's not angry. <laughs> Isaiah 27 and 4. I am not angry. If only there were briars and thorns confronting me. I will march out against them in battle. I will set them all on fire. Verse 5. Or else, let them come to me for refuge. Let them make peace with me. Yes, let them make peace with me. Do you get it? You are against your God in these days. You people think you know God, but you don't know who's God. And that's the God honest truth. Only the sincere servants of Yahweh. They know who's God. Okay, and therefore they made peace with their God and their God made peace with them. That's why the Most High God, he's not mad at them. His wrath is not towards them. Okay, let's go ahead and show you this here. The Most High God says, the sincere servants, they're going to be called oaks of righteousness. Isaiah 61 and 1. The spirit of the sovereign Yahweh is on me, because Yahweh has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives, and release from darkness the prisoners. To proclaim the year of Yahweh's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn. Verse 3, key point. And provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning. Why? Because, again, you live in a society that makes you hopeless, that oppresses you night and day. So the Most High God says that He has sent His Spirit to comfort all of those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of a spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of Yahweh, for the display of His splendor. Verse 4, and they will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the places long devastated. They will renew the ruined cities that have been devastated for generations as it is happening. Verse 5, it says here, Strangers will shepherd your flocks. Foreigners will work your fields and vineyards. As it is happening, this is why we do not oppress anybody. Okay? We do not despise anybody. Whether they're white, black, Chinese, orange, yellow, purple, it does not matter. But if they are willing and obedient, then they shall eat of the good things of the land. Like it says, foreigners will work your fields and vineyards. This is why in these days, people are waking up of all language, of all races, of all colors. Okay? Strangers will shepherd your flock in the strength of the Most High. Verse 6, and you will be called priests of Yahweh. You will be named ministers of our God. You will feed on the wealth of nations, and in their riches you will boast. As it is happening, okay? And what is their riches? I mean, you know, ill-gotten gains, the New Testament, Jesus Christ, right? So this is why we are boasting. This is why you people think that we are mean, and we are angry, and we are anti-Christ. But we are rejoicing in what Yahweh, our God, has offered us and has given us and you people out there you see that you people who believe in greek mythology and you people who believe in lies you hate us you hate us because why because the most high god has shown us the truth you don't want to have a change of mind you don't want to set your minds on untru on untruthful things you want to continue to believe in lies so that's why you are your own worst enemy all right because we're boasting right now in these days okay the riches of the other nations was everything they took from us. This is why they, you know, they're bowing down to, to what their hands have made. This force. The Most High God says he was the first to tell Zion, I give them a messenger of good news. And his name was not going to be Jesus. You understand that? So this is why the sincere, they're boasting. And what the Most High Yahweh has given them, has offered them. But you people who want to continue to believe in fairy tales and fantasies, you're just going to continue to be hopeless. You understand that? Let's go ahead and read that for you. Zechariah 14 and 12. This is the plague with which Yahweh will strike all the nations that fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh will rot while they are still standing on their feet. Their eyes will rot in their sockets and their tongues will rot, will rot in their mouths. 
the most high God says that this is what he was going to do. Let's go ahead and show you this here. Psalms 73 and 19. How suddenly are they destroyed, completely swept away by terrors. They are like a dream when one wakes. When you arise, Yahweh, you will despise them as fantasies. Do you understand that? This is why we are boasting. Again, Isaiah 61 and 6, and you will be called priest of Yahweh. You will be named ministers of our God. Why? Because the Most High God says in Deuteronomy that this was our blessing. You shall tell the descendants of Yasharal that you are to be a holy people, a nation of priests, because the Most High God Yahweh has chosen us. And you will be named ministers of our God. You will feed on the wealth of nations and what? And in their riches you will boast. Okay? Again, they are like a dream when one awakes. When you arise, Yahweh, you will despise them as fantasies. You see that? Jesus dying on the cross. That's Greek mythology, baby. All day, every day. You people who still want to believe that, well then, you know, that's the joke is on you. Okay? But again, we awoke from that. So you can't get mad at us because the Most High God showed us the mercy, showed us His ways. You can't get mad at us. Get mad at yourself because you believe in lies. Okay? You believe in lies. Again, they are like a dream when one awakes. This is why the sincere, those who love Yahweh their God, they are boasting. They are rejoicing. Because why? Because we have awoken. Like it says in Isaiah 52 and 1, Awake, awake, Zion. So this is why we are despising everything that you people believe in as fantasies. Because that's all that it is. Fantasies. Greek mythologies. Damn it. Alright? That's all you people believe in. These are the days you're going to learn that. The hard way or the easy way. It's up to you. Okay? The hard way is, is, is when you keep believing it until you die, until you perish off, the, off this earth. The easy way is changing that wayward spirit and understanding, understanding, okay? Sincerely, wholeheartedly understanding the truth now, what's being revealed to you in these days. Not what your pastor is telling you, all right? Not what your grandma and your, and your family have taught you. Not the traditions, not those folk tales, not those fairy tales, and it's fantasies. Now is the time where the Most High God has revealed His words to us, this generation. So it's on you. Are you going to set your mind to it or not? Are you going to stay asleep, right? Because that's what all these religions will do. They put you to sleep. <laughs> okay? So again, they are like a dream when one awakes. When you arise, Yahweh, you will despise them as fantasies. Verse 21. When my heart was grieved and my spirit embedded, embittered, sorry, I was senseless and ignorant. I was a brute beast before you. So you see why the Most High God calls all the other nations animals or wild animals. Because why? When we don't have the law, when you don't know Yahweh's ways, when you don't understand His laws, you will be a brute beast. You can think, you know, you, you're gonna think it's okay. Because this guy died for your sin, so you can do this, you can do that. You can eat pork, you can eat shrimps. Because it's okay. You understand that? This is why the Most High God says that He will give you a, a heart to know Him in these days. He will take away that heart of stone. What is that heart of stone? That heart of stone is when you believe it in, in, in Jeebus Geist. The Most High God says that you was going to come here to worship wood and stone. So you have a heart of stone. The Most High God says He has come to take that heart of stone out of you. And to give you what? A heart of flesh so that you can follow his ways his laws remember you're supposed to keep the laws that's what it means the laws were made there to keep us to keep us healthy to keep us to live longer you see that but some of you people despise the laws that's what the most high God says do not scorn an aged mother right so let's continue here and let's read in Ezekiel 20 and 30 now. Therefore say to the Yasharalites, this is what the sovereign Yahweh says. Will you defile yourselves the way your ancestors did and lust after their vile images? Because the Most High God says, He's showing mercy to all people now in these days. Are you going to do the same thing your ancestors did? You want to die the way they died? Verse 31. It says, when you offer your gifts, the sacrifice of your children in the fire, you continue to defile yourselves with all your idols to this day. Am I to let you inquire of me, you Yasharalites? 
As surely as I live, declares the sovereign Yahweh, I will not let you inquire of me. See that? Verse 32, you say, we want to be like the nations, like the peoples of the world, who serve wood and stone. But check this out. But what you have in mind will never happen. That's why you are hearing this now. Okay? Because you want it to be saved by the Hamashiachs, right? You want it to go to New Jerusalem on a cloud, right, with Jesus holding you. You want it to be just like the nations. But the Most High God says, what you have in mind, Yashara, will never happen. That's why you're hearing this. Verse 33. As surely as I live, and the Most High Yahweh says, He lives forever. So check this out. And get used to the rude awakening, people. Because as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Yahweh, I will reign over you with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm and with outpoured wrath. The Most High God told you about that, that uh, powerful one, right? The Most High has one who is powerful, who is strong. So I will reign over you with a mighty hand, as it is happening, and an outstretched arm with outpoured wrath. These are the days we're living in, Yashara. Okay, judgment and restoration simultaneously. This is how the Most High God works. Okay, this is why there's nobody like him. When are you going to learn that? Okay. Let's read Jeremiah chapter 12, verse 14. And we're going to find out. Okay, we're going to find out why we are so bitter. Okay. We're going to tell our wicked neighbors, right? And all the nations out there that want to listen in, right? We're going to show you why we're so mean and why we're so bitter. Because why? Because you did it to us. You gave us bitter drink. You gave us poison food. <laughs> Jeremiah 12 and 14. This is what Yahweh says, As for all my wicked neighbors, who seize the inheritance I gave my people, Yashara, I will uproot them from their lands, and I will uproot the people of Judah from among them. Most High God says He was going to save the dwellings of Judah first, as it is happening now. Jeremiah 12 and 15, But after I uproot them, I will again have compassion, and will bring each of them back to their own inheritance and their own country. Verse 16, and if they learn well the ways of my people, why? Because we were given the covenant of Adam. So this is why the Most High God says that we have been chosen to be priests. We, were, we have been chosen to represent the Most High Yahweh, our God, in these days while everybody else is worshiping their gods. You understand that? This is why the Most High God says in the last days, the mountain and the temple of Yahweh will be the highest above all the temples out here, all the mountains out here. Because why? Because they all believe in lies. What we believe in people is the truth. You see that? Again, some of us may have stumbled in the past, but this is why the Most High God says that He is the one who blocks your transgressions. If you are willing and obedient to understand this now, to understand Yahweh's ways and all that He is revealing to us day by day, because the Most High's wisdom never stops. It keeps going. You see, this is why it's called the everlasting waters. Because it keeps going. This is why He's called everlasting. All right? So once we, once we understand that all this religion and all these man-made doctrine that they made was to keep you away from understanding this, if you are willing and obedient, then, it says here, you will learn the ways of my people. Like it says, and if they learn the ways of my people and swear by my name, saying as surely as Yahweh lives, even as they once taught my people to swear by Baal, right? You see that? The Most High God said it. You people have given us, you gave us. You gave us a bitter drink. You gave us poison bread. You wanted to kill us. You wanted us to sacrifice to demons. You wanted us to get our head chopped off for the name of Christ. <laughs> you see that? Even as they once taught my people to swear by Baal, then they will be established among my people. You see, so the Most High God, He offers salvation for all peoples of all language. But again, are you going to uh, continue in your wayward spirits? Or are you going to be sincere? Are you going to really learn the ways of our people? And then, like it says here, as surely as Yahweh live, even as they has once taught, even as they once taught my people to swear by Baal, then they will be established among my people. So if you clean up your act and clean up your mess, then you will be established among the Yasharalites.